I've been watching a lot of Say Frank, like, I've seen six months of his videos in two days, and also I'm on episode 9 of Firefly. Now you're all caught up with my summer vacation thus far. By the way, I'm trying to make this video really quickly because I am leaving for a road trip to Savannah, Georgia in about 55 minutes, and then the, tomorrow I am going to Pennsylvania for my sister's graduation, so yeah, that doesn't leave me much time to make this video. Right, back to the important stuff, Zay Frank. Since the show, literally it was called The Show with Zay Frank, started in March of 2006 and ended exactly one year later, all of the news he talks about is about six years old. Here's the crazy part, almost all of the news that he talks about is still current today in 2012, six years later. Hopefully, if you're watching this in 2018, this is not still true. For example, he talks about how George Clooney is speaking up about the issues that are going on in Sudan. I don't know if you've noticed, but recently, George Clooney has been all over the news, or at least the news that I read, which admittedly is the internet. He got arrested along with his father and a senator and some others because he was protesting in front of the Sudanese embassy. President Omar al-Bashir currently has a blockade on food aid and humanitarian aid, and he is currently bombing villages and refugee camps, which is what George Clooney and many others, including the president of United to End Genocide, were protesting. Sudan was news six years ago. Sudan was news 20 years ago. Sudan is still news today. Don't let it be news tomorrow. This means making it go away, not ignoring that it's happening. One way that you can help is by going to United to End Genocide's website and sending your congressperson a letter asking them to support the Sudan Peace, Security, and Accountability Act of 2012. This act will do pretty much what the title infers, make President Omar al-Bashir accountable for his incredible human rights violations, get food aid and humanitarian aid to the people in Sudan that need it, and stop what is going on, and most importantly, make sure that it doesn't happen again. You can learn more about it at ngenocide.org and in the link that I put in the description. I have less than an hour to edit and upload this, so bye, stay awesome, and Kelly, I will see you on Wednesday.